And then you've got a big one in Division 5, Matt. Eastern Region semifinal action. Phoebus versus Lake Taylor in Norfolk. These two teams have some playoff history. Phoebus having won all the playoff meetings before, but Lake Taylor trying to end that behind. Brandon Porkchop Moore, his touchdown run to start the game puts Lake Taylor on top. 65 yards, the first play from scrimmage, and the Titans come out ready to play. Yeah, that's right. Lake Taylor doing something to Phoebus that uh, the fans aren't used to, and that's throwing a big punch on that first play. Let's see how the Phantoms respond. Anderson will drop back a quarterback. He'll hit his receiver over the right side, and let's see if the Phantoms offense, which has been a predominant run attack, can get it going. But you see right there, Pittman getting hit in the backfield. It's Porkchop with the big hit, too, on defense. And Tony Pittman, tough running back for Phoebus since he's come back around game three of the year. But Lake Taylor's defense they were number one versus the run going into the playoffs for a reason, and their pass defense making a big player. It's Donovan Powell with an interception in the end zone, and Lake Taylor has the football back with a chance to add on to its lead against a very, very good Phoebus defense. It's the number one scoring defense on the year, but Lake Taylor's got the number one scoring offense as Donovan Powell goes 34 yards with a touchdown run at the 8.58 mark of the second quarter. Hector Jimenez's extra point is good, so Lake Taylor coming out like gangbusters up 14 to nothing on a very good defending three-time state champion Phoebus football team. Yeah, Anderson here is going to hand off to Pittman again, and P Pittman continue to try and move that pile. You talk about the playmakers that Phoebus has. Well, Lake Taylor, one of the few teams here in the area that has almost maybe pound for pound just as much talent spread around the football, and you see the Titans defense forcing a fumble. They recover it, and right now the ball is just rolling and all the momentum on the side of Lake Taylor. Phoebus will have to rally from 14 points down to win this one. Going to be very tricky to do. And Lake Taylor find their receivers, Mike Tyson, Ja'Kale Pinckney, the tight end, Jalen Holmes, too. Phoebus gets the ball back, though, and Tony Pittman earning some tough yards against that Lake Taylor defense up the middle. Phoebus came with some injuries, including a couple guys with some bad knees on the offensive line. They do have a big weapon, though, on the outside in Ramon Deloach calling in this 70-yard touchdown bomb from Eric Anderson. So Phoebus inches closer here as they are down now only 14 to seven after that extra point by Dylan Cripp is good. Yeah, big play that time. They were able to catch Deloach with a matchup they like. Tyson had been on him most of the game that time. Tyson not in coverage and they're able to take advantage and get on the board here on the kickoff. However, it will be Lake Taylor with a nice big return, bringing the ball out near midfield. That's Torrey Palmer on the return and then it's Porkchop hitting the football, but Kevin Lyles, the sophomore defensive lineman, younger brother of Senior linebacker and Peninsula District defensive player there, Justin Boombox Lyles with a couple big tackles for loss in this one. And then the beautiful grab by the sophomore tight end Jalen Holmes for Lake Taylor. We've got some good sophomores to watch here for the next few years in high school football around the area with Lake Taylor and Phoebus. An unmissed opportunity for Lake Taylor as they drop what could have been a touchdown at a 21-7 lead. Instead, they'll settle for a Hector Jimenez 28-yard field goal at the horn. So the Titans up 17-7 at the half. That's right. Well, Phoebus in unfamiliar territory, trailing by double digits at halftime. However, the Phantoms, the Mystique, and the Gold Helmets making a play here. They get an interception here, and they look to be in business and trying to uh, forget about those demons they had in the first half. And then you talk about exercising the demons. Here comes Pittman, and he's going to run right over Mike Tyson and move this ball downfield. Pittman didn't have much in the first half, but he got it going in the second half, earning a tough yard, showing his power showing his determination, and Dylan Cripps' 30-yard field goal makes it 17-10 in favor of Lake Taylor. Phoebus gets the ball back on their onside kick, and now they're going to go spread it out and throw the ball their big, tall, physical receiver, Ramon Deloach, and right now they're having success with it. And then Pittman bursts through on fourth and one for a 25-yard touchdown run, stunning Lake Taylor at 17-7 lead. In fact, that 14-point lead has evaporated. It's a tie ball game. That's right, the Phantoms didn't get down early. They stay in it. Pittman finds a hole, as you said, on fourth down for the score. Now back on offense again. Anderson looking downfield. He's going back to who? Deloach. Deloach goes up and makes a play on the football. However, uh, questionable penalty there. Mike Tyson called for pass interference. That will give this drive new life for the Phantoms. And Pittman moves the ball downfield again on the carry. Can Phoebus do it again and beat Lake Taylor for the fifth time in the playoffs this decade? Yes, they do. Dylan Cripp with a 25-yard field goal, and Phoebus wins again in dramatic fashion. The sixth time since 2009, they have come from behind to win in the playoffs, and the Phantoms keep it rolling. They lost a couple games to Hampton and Woodside, but they bounced back here and beat Lake Taylor. Tony Pittman with 136 yards rushing and a touchdown. You see 
Brandon Moore with 110 yards rushing and a touchdown, but not a whole lot in the second half as that Phoebus defense clamped down. And the other Division 5 Eastern Region semifinal, it was another comeback, Matt, as Norcom staged a rally from 14 points down to shock the Hampton Crabbers. Chevelle Atkins with two touchdown runs and interception on defense. Joe Powell with six catches for 76 yards. Deion Newsom had a touchdown catch for the Crabbers, but Hampton with only 24 rushes, a season low 26 yards on the ground, giving us a surprising Division 5 final. A couple of two lost teams in number four seed Norcom taking on number three seed Phoebus, the overwhelming favorite probably in this matchup. That's right, Matt. You mentioned it. Phoebus not lost two games. Both the teams they lost to already out of the playoffs. Keep it right here on Cox 11. We've got state championship games on December the 10th. Division 5 at noon, Division 6 at 4 o'clock.